In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to embed an MVC2 application on a C1 website. I am using a C1 demo website opened in Visual Studio 2010, and I'm going to launch the website on Visual Studio's internal web server by pressing F5. Before you begin, make sure Firefox is your default web browser. Also, in the start options of the website, make sure that the NTLM authentication option is disabled. And in the build options, you've selected no build for the start action and disabled building website as part of the solution. And now let's get started. First, install the package called MVC Player. This package helps embed MVC2 applications on C1 websites. For this, launch the website and log into the administrative console. In the system perspective, browse to the MVC player package and install it. This done, create an MVC application. For the purpose of this video, I have already created a simple MVC2 application. It consists of one view, and one controller. It simply outputs hello world on a page. Back in the administrative console, switch to the content perspective and edit the page you want to embed the MVC application on. To embed the application on the page, use the function called MVC Player. Click Insert, Function, Expand All Functions, Composite, SP.NET, and select the function. In the path parameter, specify the path to the application and click OK. Save the page and publish the page. Now open the page in the web browser. You can see that the MVC2 application outputs Hello World as expected. And this is it for this video. If you have any questions, please visit our website at www.composite.net or follow us at twitter.com slash composite c1.